Welcome to the CDBG DR Citizen Participation and Equitable Engagement Toolkit video guide to HUD's online geospatial data storefront, also called the HUD EGIS storefront, which is located at egis.hud.gov. This training will show CDBG DR grantees how to use the Geospatial Data Storefront website to access online web-based mapping tools for a range of information, including U.S. Census American Community Survey data and data collected by HUD. The Geospatial Data Storefront homepage allows grantees to search for content directly using the search bar or to browse mapping data by program category. CDBG DR grantees can find useful information for public engagement and program planning in any of the program categories, though there are a few that grantees will find particularly useful. If we look in Fair Housing and Equal Opportunity, for example, we're presented with a list of data tables, most of which can be mapped. Notice that it also provides the date the information was last updated. For example, we can scroll through and see Public Housing Authorities and click on the title. A map of the world appears with blue dots across the United States where the housing authorities are located. Clicking on the Housing Authority dot, we get the data that's being mapped like the Public Housing Authority office location, contact information, and program availability. If we click on View Full Details, we get more information on the map data. There's also a data dictionary, which, if I click on it, downloads an Excel file of all the data characteristics available about each housing authority that's being mapped and how those characteristics are labeled. Opening the file, this data set includes the type of program and the percentage of financially assisted units at each housing authority that are occupied. Minimizing the table and back at the data summary, we'll click View Map, and we're brought back to the main data map. Using the mouse scrolling wheel or the plus button, we can zoom in closer. Let's go toward the Gulf Coast. If I'm interested in the locations of public housing authorities around South Texas, I can hover over the data point and find them at the Port Isabel Housing Authority. Clicking on the blue point, a pop-up gives us data about this housing authority and uses the codes we just downloaded in the Excel spreadsheet. If we want to make a map, we'll click I want to use this and indicate I want to create a map. We'll start simple and click this. We can add a point and label it. A line or a whole area. If you have an ArcGIS account, you can save this map. To create a free public account, go to Esri's Create Account page by searching the web for Create ArcGIS Public Account. I'm going to save my map and then use my browser's print feature to create a PDF. Now I'll click on the HUD logo at the top of the page to the Geospatial Data Storefront homepage. As you can see, there are both a lot of types of data on this website and many ways the data can be mapped and used. Now let's say we want to map data characteristics, not just by a location. We can look in community indicators and browse through the data available. The American Community Survey, or ACS, five-year housing estimate data by tract is a data set with a lot of useful characteristics to describe people and housing. Like before, we'll want the data dictionary to find out what information is contained in the data set. This set has quite a few data characteristics, both as counts of housing units and as percentages for the census tract, like the number and percentage of rental housing units. Let's say I want to create a map using advanced mapping. This opens ArcGIS Map Viewer. With advanced mapping, we can choose an attribute to show other than location. Let's pick the code for the percentage of rental housing units. It defaults to counts in color, which is good for something like the percentage of rental housing units, which will range from 0 to 100%. We'll click Done. Let's zoom into the same area of Texas as before. Now clicking on Legend, we can see that the colors indicate a range of 14% to 59%. This data is used to identify unmet needs. 
For example, there is a great deal of evidence that renters disproportionately impacted by disasters are left out of many government relief and recovery programs and face enormous challenges recovering compared to homeowners. Now, if we want, we can select different face maps, such as this one with streets. We could print this now with or without the legend. To share the map, I could save this as a PDF again, or save the map as an image file to use as part of a presentation or use on a printed information sheet. There are far too many options to customize maps than there is time to cover in this brief tutorial, but you don't have to know every feature to begin using these online mapping tools. Thank you for learning more about the HUD Geospatial Data Storefront, one of several online mapping tools CDBGDR grantees can use to obtain information they need to conduct equitable engagement as part of the citizen participation process. Well-designed, responsive programs, backed by quality data, benefit the entire community, especially historically vulnerable and underserved people who may be otherwise overlooked.